This world needs changing. The coronavirus crisis has shone a light on our society. It has demonstrated the tremendous strength of working class solidarity and sacrifice. It has shown us the best of humanity. But it's also exposed what's rotten. A society which always puts profit first. A society in which the greed of an elite few is allowed to supersede the needs of the majority is a society that is completely incapable of protecting what matters. People's lives, their health, their livelihoods, the environment and all of our futures. Capitalism is a sick system. This is true at the best of times, but when it faces crisis, it becomes even more obvious. Coronavirus may not be man-made, but the devastation it has wrought was entirely preventable. Complacent government, motivated by big businesses and deluded with the idea of free markets, have been unable to stop this virus from spreading. They failed to roll out mass testing, which would have helped to halt the spread of the virus. They failed in closing businesses down, not wanting to impede on the profits of big business and putting further people's lives at risk. Still today, non-essential workplaces, such as construction sites, building luxury apartments, are allowed to remain open and in operation. This is putting many lives at risk. They failed to protect our NHS. Our health service has faced a 10-year starvation diet. Cuts and privatisation have brought us to the brink, and our healthcare workers are asked to risk their lives because this government has failed to provide PPE, testing and secure safe staffing levels. Yet profit-hungry big pharma companies would rather keep vital research to themselves, hoping to be the first to make a big buck. It's easier just to churn out antidepressants for people overwhelmed by the stress of life under capitalism. Meanwhile, workers are paying the price for the shutdown measures which have become necessary. Key workers like me are under unprecedented strain. And hundreds of thousands have lost their jobs. Millions of others have faced massive loss of pay. I'm Jackie, I'm an intensive care nurse and I'm a member of Socialist Alternative. I'm Rob, I'm a postal worker and I'm a member of Socialist Alternative. I'm Yara, I'm a recently laid off worker and I'm a member of Socialist Alternative. I'm Ibrahim, I'm a student and I'm a member of Socialist Alternative. I'm Dane, I'm a full-time social work student and I work in social care. I'm a member of Socialist Alternative in Greater Manchester. I'm Paul, I'm retired and I'm a member of Socialist Alternative. Because we know it doesn't have to be this way. The last 10 years have brought huge hardship for working class people. But for the billionaire class it's been bonanza. Our world is more unequal now than at any other point in history. Those greedy few, the millionaires and the billionaires at the top, have proved just how useless to society they are during this crisis. It's ordinary people who are keeping society running, who produce and distribute food, who provide public transport, who care for the sick and the vulnerable. And that's why when as workers we stand together, we're incredibly powerful. In Socialist Alternative, we stand for a fight back. We stand for fighting trade unions, building a mass struggle to defend the National Health Service. We stand for safety and dignity at work, and the right to a decently paid job for all. We stand for a decent future for young people, and we say that the working class mustn't be forced to foot the bill for this crisis. We stand for the planet. Just a hundred corporations are responsible for more than 70% of global emissions. Production for profit is killing the natural world we rely on. We stand for socialism, both here and around the world. We stand for workers to be in control. It should be down to workers like us who democratically decide what measures need taken to defeat this virus and who organise production and distribution to make sure that people get what they need. We stand for the democratic public ownership over the banks and major monopolies to take the wealth off the 1% and instead plan our economy to meet the needs and desires of the majority, not to make profits for the few. And we don't stand alone. 
We're part of International Socialist Alternative that has activists all around the world in more than 30 countries fighting for socialism. So if you agree and you want to stand with us to fight for a socialist world, which is free of war, free of poverty, free of exploitation and oppression, then join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join Socialist Alternative today.